Well, I guess I'm going to be doing this topic uh, without any of my expression abilities or anything else because I'm using uh, Live 2D Studio or VTube Studio instead of PRPR Live. So I'm very out of my comfort zone. I can't even look at the camera properly without tilting my head directly at it. It's kind of weird. Anyways, we got a topic to cover, and it is this 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 dude who says that Texas is based for for banning abortion, and he's got a couple of reasons for doing so. This is one of those videos that gets sent to me uh, for me to look at, and I I looked at a couple seconds of it, said yikes immediately, and said okay, yeah, I'm covering it. So anyway, I'm gonna look drunk the entire time we cover this one because of the the program I'm forced to use at the moment. Um, anyway, so, fan art stuff. First, we have this one from Memory Martin. It said, heard you call Raz Kangaraz while bringing in Thumper. So, here they are. Yeah, no, Raz got a hoodie, uh, a, a piece of merch for, uh, for Valk, uh, Yakuza Mom. Uh, picked up that merch, and it had a, a large front pocket. So, she stuffed Thumper into the front pocket and just, yeah, we got a Kangaraz now. It was, it was adorable. Anyway, next we have one from Mathematical Cabbage. Uh... <laughs> So I don't know why, but the delivery of this line on that one call video was inspiring. So Mathematical Cabbage has now drawn me going, everybody wants to fuck Knuckles. Oh my god. Jesus. Anyways. So, with that said, as always, you guys, thank you very much for your fan art submissions. Let's go ahead and hop right into this video. And because this is a smaller YouTuber, I guarantee you that... After I do this, there's, there's probably going to be some, like, videos made about me. That's that's generally what happens if I go after somebody smaller. Or if I go after somebody larger, like Call for an Uprising, then he shows his little dick energy, too. But let's go ahead and do this. Dude says, uh, based Texas here. Uh, I, I like the Wind Waker picture in the back and the Star Fox 64 Vox art in the back. I like those things. It makes me automatically want to like this person. Um, but I know I won't. And that sucks. Hello everyone, this is Cody. Oh god, mic peeking. Oh god, no, not that. Lee of blackcatbooks.org, author of I the Dragon Crew and Beautiful Rabbit Hole and King Dio. Abortion is banned. Good. It's about fucking time. <laughs> can we keep, can we stop with this facade? Can, can we stop pretending that this is anything more than just an attempt at preventing um white people from reproducing? <laughs> what? Okay, so this is basically where I got before I hit pause and said, okay, I know the flavor of the video. I want to watch this organically live. So now I have to give my reaction as organically as I can. Why are we doing the great replacement thing still? Seriously, okay, I just let, let me just ask, logically, logically, let's pretend that you erased all the white people in the world um, in the most terrible way possible, you had sex with them. Just think about it. Just think about it for a second. That is, that is the way that you are planning on erasing white people. Fucking them. Jumping on their cocks. That's going to be the way that you are going to remove white people from existence. That. Because here's the Great Replacement Theory. Here's what it says. Brown people move into a country. Brown people fuck white people. B more brown people get born. Less white people get born. Therefore, genocide. I'm going to say that is the sexiest genocide I've ever heard of. Please, can we have more of that? Just, if, if that is what that is, if, if they're going to go with the Great Replacement thing, then sure, I'm fine with literally a thousand fucking brown people fucking white people. It doesn't matter. It's people having sex. It, it, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Can we stop pretending this is a... There's some moral justification for allowing women to, like, kill their unborn children. Like There is. Uh, bodily autonomy. In fact, actually, you should read up on the violinist. You seem to have written several books, so maybe you could read one yourself. Is there is there any reason to, like, keep doing this? Like, unless you're just an indoctrinated, like, fuck... With, like, in, unless you're a complete retard... Who 
Okay, so you talk about indoctrination, yet you brought up the fucking Great Replacement Theory as if you haven't been just spamming a bunch of 4chan boards for the last 24 hours. Also, nice Arsler. Who somehow thinks, that, like, oh man, if if women have less children, that means I can have sex with women more often, like... Nobody wants abortion to be legal so they can fuck more. Condoms exist. If you forgot condoms exist, then I'm sorry that you're an idiot? Look, 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 look. As a polyamorous person who has gone to, you know, swinger party shit, has, has, I've, I've had my time, okay? Protection exists. We don't need abortion to have more sex. Abortion has other purposes, that are incredibly useful. Again, women having the ability to consent to something being in their body or not, um, the ability for people who happen to be in a financially terrible situation to be able to not have to go through the ordeal of pregnancy. Um, the and, and not just insofar as them having to have a child, because uh, adoption is always an option, but the idea that they have to suffer through childbirth, that they have to suffer through going through this. Like, if you want to put arbitrary limits on when and where women are allowed to abort, then you're going to end up in more situations where women die because they were not allowed to have abortions. And we've seen this happen in places like Ireland. I literally did a video about this the other day. Are there moral reasons for it? Yes, bodily autonomy, bodily integrity. Th those are the reasons. Unless you're okay with me shoving something in your body and letting it stay there uh, for nine months and until I arbitrarily decide you can get rid of it. Stop being such a degenerate. Stop looking at the more. Start looking at the more important fi uh, the the big picture, right? Right. The big picture is that women should have access to their own bodies. That that that's the big picture. That, that's literally it. Right. Stop, like, being so hedonistic. Stop revolving your entire life around sex. Like Nobody's revolving their entire life around sex. I, you, Christian Puritans get abortions. Shut the fuck up. Like, it's not all about you. I, I think that's uh, the, the main message I want to give to women who are, who are pro-abortion, uh, pro-murder of unborn children who... Uh... This is a walking abortion argument, just letting you know that. Who, who still, who honestly try to tell people that they never want children? They all do this until until it's too late. Like same story every single time. Right? Okay, so now we have fuck Wad McGee here, uh, telling you that he can read the minds of all children, or not children, women. Well, he he's infantilizing women, so I guess there's that as well. Um, but no, he's this this is functionally somebody telling you that he is personally able to hop into the brain meats of every woman in existence and tell you that whenever they tell you they don't want kids, they are actually lying to you. Every woman ever who has ever said that they did not want a kid was actually a liar, according to this person. Apparently he has uh, apparently he has the ability to get into the brain of every woman in existence, which you and I both know is not the case, but he thinks is the case. Right. Uh, what, what they actually want is to like live their um, live out their adolescence for as long as possible. So you see like these women like going into their thirties, still acting like they're like in their late teens, essentially trying to at any rate. Why does that matter? Why does that matter? Dude. Okay. Look, I, I, I I'm a gamer. Okay. I've got fucking Nerf guns on my wall and shit as well. Like, and, and I've got a, a literal toolbox filled with modern Magic Gathering decks that I will use for tournament shit. So far be it for me to be the, the dick bag talking about wanting to relive or, or constantly stay in your childhood whilst you have a Gyarados picture, a picture of Star Fox 64, a picture of the Wind Waker, uh, a picture from Mario 3... Uh, and what looks to be is that, oh, uh, Super Smash Brothers is there as well. Um, yeah, far be it for me to, to criticize one for wanting to stay in, in, in prime time of their youth for any amount of time uh, as you sit there with your Nintendo Switch on the right-hand side, which nobody else on screen can see because it is under my beautiful armpit. Um, and it doesn't work. Like, uh, they're trying, <laughs> like... Yeah. I think that's that sums up like 
all of these liberal ideas and in uh, in general, like, you know, women in the workplace, women's suffrage, uh, pro-abortion, like, all of these things are just policies that just don't work. They don't build a healthy, functional society. Wait, 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 wait. Women's suffrage and women working doesn't build a healthy, functional society. So women shouldn't allow be allowed to work. They should be, in your worldview, they should be forced to be subservient to men so that they can afford to live. They should not be allowed to do so on their own, which means... Uh, which, which means, for instance, uh, a lesbian couple uh, could get together and neither would be allowed to work. They would still be subservient to a man. Um, women being allowed to vote, that's a problem with you as well. So you think that people should live in a nation where they themselves do not get to have a say in the laws of that nation. That's, that is effectively what you said. And I, and I don't think you'd backpedal that. I mean, you're a writer, so I assume you're an effective communicator if it's literally the thing you do, right? They just lead to more and more decay and more and more erosion of our values. What, what is decay and erosion of values? Can you please quantify that? Uh, seriously, seriously. No, no, no. Seriously. Look, listen, listen. Every single time that some fuck nugget says, this is going to decay society. This is going to destroy society. This is going to erode our values. Mm. Whenever I hear that, the last thing I think of is what the fuck that means. Because I don't know what the fuck that means. How do you fucking quantify that? How did you measure that? When you said that statement, that vapid statement that came out of something that I assume is your mouth hole, but is vaguely ass-shaped. When you said that thing, by what means or measure was I supposed to quantify it? And you can bring like, oh, look at X thing, look at X thing, look at X thing. That is that those are a series of anecdotes. I want data. How do you take that statement and you qualify it with data? How do you do that? Be the researcher. When you're going to make this broad ass statement about the moral degradation of society, I need you to show me data that it is happening. And what you'll find is all that's really happened is people's opinions have shifted in a way that is not congruent with your own. And at that point, boo fucking who, you fucking snowflake? Nobody gives a shit. Facts don't care about your feelings, dumb shart. And our country and just uh, our family life in particular. Like, I, I can't even begin to tell you just how many women I know, like growing up, who have just like completely fucked themselves over by just advocating for these kind of things. Like, so women advocating they should be allowed to work fucked them over later in life. Again, how did you qualify this? How did you come across this data? Did you did you did you take notes of all of them as you had conversations with them, and then you uh, followed up with them later with uh, surveys? Is, is this is this what you did? Because that's how you would go about that. But I, I don't. I am not of the opinion that you actually did any of that. Okay. And, and to see Texas, like uh, you know, finally take a stand, finally, finally. Um start dealing with the problem like maybe not to this to the extent that we probably should what is the extent that we probably should they literally allowed bounty hunting on this what extent do you want to go to over and above bounty hunting you know probably not to the extent we're like you know uh, people <laughs> probably not to the extent that we probably should uh -huh. when it comes to like uh you know banning abortions na nationwide like really punishing people how is Texas going to do that, though? Who advocate for this stuff. Like, Wait, punishing people who advocate for this stuff? How do you want to punish people who ad who advocate for it? Wait, so people merely having opinions about abortion should be punished? Really? Okay, cool. Then I'm going to go ahead and use your argument here. Just your, your logic, okay? We're just going to do that for a second. I do not like the opinion you have stated, so I believe you should be uh, vladded up the butt. Forcibly. You don't like that? Then stop advocating for punishing people for opinions. Please. Really, really going after people. Um, th that's not... That, that doesn't seem to be the card. That, that doesn't seem to be in the cards in the immediate future. But this is a this is a major, major thing, a major decision that will probably save like hundreds of thousands of lives. It's not going to save lives. Okay, look, data has shown that you actually do not change the abor the abortion rate 
when you criminalize abortion, when you ban abortion, that doesn't change abortion rates in areas. The only way that you get to data that says that you uh, that you actually hit abortion rates, and I can actually show you this, because I did this research before doing this video, okay? I was looking, because I, I, I had that feeling in the back of my head that maybe, maybe, there is data to suggest that banning abortion actually does lower abortion rates in an area. And what I found is when you look at like uh, .gov websites, when you look at uh, data that is, uh, that, is, that is neutral, you find that abortion rates do not actually lower when you criminalize abortion. You still have abortions, you just have less safe abortions. What I found uh, is that there are articles you can find, uh, like this one here, that said how the legal status of abortion impacts abortion rates. And this article uh, was written by a PhD person, uh, but it was written by somebody for the uh, Charlotte Lazier Institute. And I started reading the article itself, and this article tried to argue that, you know, contrary to what data suggests, um, by the way, the data for this was actually pulled uh, between 2011 and 2017. That will matter a lot here in just a second. Um, but the article ar argues that, you know, even though data suggests that uh, abortion rates do not go down when you do, uh, when you get rid of abortion, when you when you try to get rid of it legally, um, this ar uh, article tried to argue that that was not the case. And then I got curious, and I actually looked at the source for the article itself uh, and found out that this article, which is being cited by other places like PragerU, uh, is from the Charlotte Lazier Institute, which is named for Lazier, and it is an anti-abortion think tank founded in 2011. BT-Dubs, 2011 to 2017, is where the most recent polling data for this came from when I was looking for this in more non-biased sources. It is a research and education arm of the Susan B. Anthony List, an organization dedicated to electing candidates and pursuing policies that will reduce and ultimately end abortion. So what I find is that when I, when I, when I find data that suggests that banning abortion actually lowers abortion rates, criminalizing abortion actually lowers abortion rates, it tends to come from sources that are heavily biased in favor of trying to get rid of abortion. Whereas when I look, again, at .gov websites, more neutral sources, um, I don't find that. I don't find that data anymore. And it's really weird to me that think tanks are where I find the data to support, you know, positions like yours. And, you know, more neutral websites are where I find data that undermines yours. And then I could go down left wing websites as well, but that would be just playing fire with fire. And I'd rather use water to stop a fire personally. And uh, for that, I am eternally grateful. Um, the, the liberal... <laughs> infrastructure like uh they're indoctrin the, the indoctrinated i suppose we should call them um they they can't keep this up forever they, they really can't like can they really keep pretending that uh we're gonna die if we go out without a mask that like uh, there, there's some reason we need to have women in the workplace like no like eventually all right so we got anti-mask shit um okay so nobody has argued that everybody's gonna die if they go out without a mask jesus fucking christ it's about probability. It's about statistics. It is about the ability to transfer a virus to more people when you are in the incubation period and don't even know that you have symptoms. That's what the mask shit is for, okay? If you have, like, three brain cells and they're working overtime to make a fourth one and they can't quite spare the time to think about that for more than two seconds, then I guess I can understand where you're coming from. But as I have at least four brain cells, they've already made the fourth. They've already gone there. They've already taken that leap and had their brain cell baby, I at least have the ability to process the idea that we know what the fuck a mask does, okay? Secondly, secondly, why do we need women in the workplace? Well, let's see here. One, there is no negative to having women in the workplace. Period. You cannot list a negative that exists for it. Women having the ability to go into the workplace, having the choice to, it doesn't force them to. It doesn't mean they have to go into the workplace. You can still be a stay-at-home mom if you want. You can still, you know, just go fucking find a sugar daddy if that's the thing you want to do. You still have the ability to do that. Nobody's stopping you. It's about having the choice. <clears throat> Mind you, that's the same thing that's happening with abortion. It's about having a choice. It's about having an option. It's about having the ability to do something about your situation as opposed to being stuck under societal pressure to do elsewise. Something is going to give and we're going to have like an insane financial collapse. Uh, in, in a lot of ways...
Wait, women working, which means more people uh, pumping money into the economy, uh, is going to cause a financial collapse. I want to do that again so I can maybe forget what I just heard. My head doesn't hurt quite enough. I'm going to keep playing the video. It's a migraine and a half. Is that's happening already? But, uh... I do think we're kind of at the point where, um... The other side, so to speak, uh, has kind of, kind of had enough of it. And we are actively working to, uh... To undermine these people. So... Dude, conservatives have been working to undermine liberal policies in America for the past 50 years. Don't even. It's not that, oh no, you finally had enough and now it's time to go even further beyond. No, no. Get that anime bullshit out of here. It's not that you finally had enough and now shit is happening. It's that people have been trying to do this for decades. Decades. People have been trying to undermine policies like Roe v. Wade since before you were a drip on your father's penis. Because, no, they shouldn't be allowed to do this. They shouldn't be allowed to advocate for this kind of thing. They shouldn't be allowed to, to really just undermine their family lives in favor of their own hedonistic sort of a ideal, right? No, no, you mean potential family lives, because if somebody doesn't have a family yet, they, they don't they don't have that. If somebody hasn't started one, they don't have one. You want more people to be forced to have that type of lifestyle, which not everybody wants, not everybody needs. It needs to stop. It, it needs to stop. It's embarrassing. It's pathetic. It's sad. Uh, they just need... <laughs> abortionists need to fuck off. So I want to I want to point out something, okay? I want to point out something. So this dude is obviously, you know, conservative. Very much so. This is his left hand. Now, I don't know if you see what I see. But if you don't see it, I'm going to I'm going to call attention to it right here. Here is this man's left hand. What do I not see here? Given everything you've espoused, I would expect to see a ring here. But I don't. Now, why don't I see one here? Is it perhaps because you've not been able to enslave a woman to be your sandwich maker? Is that what's happened here? Is this just a very, very mad, lonely man who's not been able to get a partner? Is that what's happened? I don't know. Because I don't know this person. And quite frankly, I don't want to know this person. I think I was happier 30 minutes ago before I started to know about who this person was. But now you know this person, for better or worse. <laughs> Anyways, the reason I wanted to go through this video is I already knew it was going to be yikesy, and I knew that this was going to be one of the least skilled ways of communicating these ideas, but it would also be... One of the most blatant. See, there's this funny thing that happens. When a politician talks about these kinds of things, they tend to talk in euphemisms. And we have to spend a lot of time trying to decompile what's being said. When a rando on the street is saying these things, they are never as eloquent, despite having written four books, apparently. They are never as eloquent. They are never as euphemistic. They never have the flowery language to hide behind so that they can say the things they need to say in front of the cameras. So we get this lovely, condensed, boiled-down version of these ideas in their rawest form. And what we get when we look at those ideas in their rawest, most pure form is absolutely appalling. But, hey, now you know, I suppose. Gray the Grim, thank you very much for redeeming your points, friend. Oh, well. Oh, well. With that said, everybody, though, now I throw the conversation back to you guys. What do you think? How do you feel about shit like this? What is your opinion when you see conversations, arguments like this brought up? With that said, though, now that I've thrown the conversation back to you guys, and I am very tired, as always, everyone, incident the video tagline here.
Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. It really means a lot to me. If you want access to behind the scenes content for the channel, please consider checking out my Patreon. I do weekly vlogs over there where I give uh, real life updates to what's going on behind the scenes on the channel, stuff that you don't really get uh, over here and, and even on Twitch. Uh, Patreon also helps the channel's stability a whole lot. Without Patreon, I wouldn't be able to do this at all. Especially with the kind of content that I do, neither YouTube nor Twitch are the most stable sources of income. If you are a $20 and up patron, then you will be featured on the ending slides as shown in the beginning of the end credits. If you want to catch the streams where all this content comes from, then consider heading over to Twitch and following. And if you want to continue watching over here on YouTube, maybe consider clicking one of the end screen videos. And once again, I want to thank you so much for spending your time with me over on my channel. I wouldn't be able to do literally anything that I'm doing over here on YouTube without each and every one of you. So thank you.